You're joking right now, are you not? Oh, 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 oh. oh baby! <laughs> Let's go! No Crush way! It. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. A little bit different of a way to start the video, but figured I'd pick up the camera and tell you guys kind of what's going on for today's video. Well, I am currently at a holiday right now in Minnesota, I believe. I am on a seven hour road trip to go visit some friends. Uh, you guys probably know them. Uh, a lot of the internet probably knows them. And we're gonna be doing some ice fishing. In Wisconsin, yes, we have already gone ice fishing, but with the weather and everything, it just hasn't been exactly how I want it to be, and I don't feel 100% safe on it. Uh, but my buddy, who lives in, I will tell you, Fargo, North Dakota, which is where I'm heading, um, he's been on ice for the last two days. It is perfectly safe. We got about two or three lakes that we are gonna be hitting. And yeah, right now, filling up some gas. And yeah, we're gonna just be seeing how it's like to ice fish out here. This will be my very first time ever fishing in this neck of the woods before. I've not really ventured out a whole lot uh, out of Wisconsin for ice fishing besides I've been to Lake of the Woods before. So this will be completely new, but I do know that they're smashing the crappies and that is one of my favorite things to go for for early ice. So you guys will have to stay tuned. I got a long way to go here still, but I will pick up the camera when I arrive at his house. Well, we have finally made it. Since the last time you've seen me, it's been about two and a half hours, and I am finally standing in North Dakota, and it feels amazing. Can't wait to get inside, start organizing some tackle, show you who I'm gonna be fishing with, and get a game plan for tomorrow morning, because that's when we are gonna be crappie fishing. So, I will see you guys inside. All right, so we actually just brought up all Nick's stuff. As you can see, um, it's a organized mess, kinda. Not really, but welcome to my apartment. Nick actually came up here and Brandon came up here a little bit earlier in the year. I think it was like two months ago. Um, it was a strictly uh, boozing weekend though. So uh, there was no fishing, but we decided to change that. Nick did not have any ice up north. So I called him up and I said, hey, I found a couple lakes that have uh, ice and uh, I actually fished one and it was very successful. I'm talking like a bunch of schools of crappies and if you can find them and get on top of them, it's a hell of a time. So Nick made the eight hour drive, seven hour drive over here. And that's the plan. Tomorrow we're gonna do a little bit of crappie fishing. And uh, for Nick, it's gonna be his first time fishing in 2020, like early ice. So uh, I think he's excited. He was texting me and uh, I don't think he's gonna get much sleep tonight. Come over here, we got John's handy dandy live scope. Got the nine inch screen. Baller over here. Big baller. Not a peasant like you. No, I only have the seven inch. You can see mine set up a little bit different. This is pretty much mainly all custom and then I had to put it together and then he's got the actual like straight from Garmin because he's cool like that. But we are pretty much just organizing some rods, getting some tip ups ready. We're not really sure. Like obviously we're going for crappies but we're gonna be filming a bunch of videos. So finish doing all that stuff, getting all my stuff from a truck into the house and uh pretty much just catch up and relax until tomorrow's absolute beat down so that being said i will see you guys in the morning on the lake well guys it is the next morning and we are out on the hard water this lake froze extremely good last night even from when john was out here probably added like honestly another inch but the entire lake is locked we're probably dealing with like three and a half four inches almost on the entire part right where we're fishing right now actually is pressure ridge and this probably has like five inches so that's pretty sick john's over here already on the hole that he was at yesterday breaking out the old live scope yep we got two live scopes out here do you think we can find them i think we'll be good dude we should be good all right so we just located a fish um we're right here okay this is us right there and then we see where our transducer is pointing poison pointing this way so 60 feet that way oh, yeah. we that. got a wad of fish it's not letting me zoom in precisely but right there that's all fish if i turn up the gain a little bit you guys can see it a little bit but that's like more of what we're looking for they're more suspended in the water column and they're probably more like active and stuff like that but uh, i think we're gonna drill a grid and we're gonna start by uh going 60 feet 
that way. God, guys, this is stuff, extremely yeah. exciting being out here early ice. Actually gonna get on fish with the first couple missions that we've had. You know, we haven't had, had any fish. I haven't even had Nick, a bite. Come here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh. So you could see Dustin, I told Dustin to go and drill a hole over them and he was drilling. Oh, he's look, right that's, on that's top where of he it. was drilling and we're right over top of them. So we're gonna go over here. Sorry, this is a fast paced video. We're just trying to find a fish right now. We're excited. So let me come over here, all right. Yeah, put this guy down. We're gonna switch the transducer to down mode. By the way, guys, if you don't know, picked up some scragglers on the side of the street. Uh, we got the Smackin' Boys. If you guys don't know what their channel is, they do a lot of hunting. But they're fishing today, so definitely make sure to check them out if you like hunting. And good looks, right? And good looks, yeah. The mullet. It's a little, uh, little out of shape right now. I could probably use a trim up, but. We'll worry about that after the crappies, huh? But there's a school right here. They're starting to move back to where we just were. But look at this school right there. God, Those are yeah. all fish, dude. Yep. We're just going to keep finding some uh, schools and get on top of them. Yeah, there's still a bunch down there. He's dropping down right on them. Oh, my God. Nick, that could have been the first ice fish of the year for you, bro. I know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just been doing a single jig and then sitting. There we yep. go. Not a giant. Not hey, a giant. Hey, that's one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Not a giant at all, but is the very first crappie for me of the season. They're only going to get bigger from here on out. They've already caught a few decent ones today. That school seems like it has now passed. Yep. Of course, right when I drill that other hole and get down there. But we literally just got out here. We're just trying to find these school of fish. Already found it, and it's going to be a hell of a day. So we're going to drill a few more holes and try to get on top of them. A good one. Holy cow. Oh my god. No, you're good. They're aggressive. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, there you go. A little double action. Double action. Nice, decent Minnesota crappie. Definitely a big school down there, that's for sure. Heck yeah. There's probably like another at least 10 down there. Yeah, we so gotta keep them entertained here. Not gonna spend too much time. Oh yeah, this one's racing. Look at that. Instant. All right, take back what I was saying, John, about you being not a good guide. I don't know if I said it in my video Instant, or not, instant. <laughs> They're racing. Oh, oh slack me. lifted up on it. Yeah. Got a decent crappie. I always got some gouges. John said there is pike in here. Did bring all the iFish pros. Probably set those up in a little <laughs> bit here, but. I have my jig like Oh my Seven god. Seven feet below the ice. And we're in 14 foot of water. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, better, but still a good one. Oh, decent table fair size crappies here. Wow, this is nuts. There's another eight down there or so. You guys can get in on this if you want. Yeah, we got more rods. Man, that is just insane. They're it's just hand racing. over fist right now. Yeah. Go get in there. Nick, you're, you're running. Oh, oh first <laughs> bluegill. Blue first bluegill of the day. Interesting. What is that, like, size? Is that a big one? It feels alright, but that was aggressive. Another nice, decent crappie. Out here, absolutely just pounding them. Oh my Jesus, god. You're pounding them. They're a big fan of the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I was just amazed on how high that fish was coming. Look at him, he's drinking dude. He got fish, boy. <laughs> Doubled up with chilling. Oh, a bluegill guy. <laughs> Why are you getting all wrapped up in here? What is he doing? Why are they Ooh, doing that? Nice one, dude. <laughs> You're joking right now, are you not? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> baby! Let's go! No Krusty. way! Dude, let's go! No way. Way. Hey, me and Krusty decided to just venture like middle of nowhere <laughs> and we saw this thing swimming. I legit said, I'm like, dude. I think it's a walleye. I saw I saw the outline of it. No way. And then it was it, Nick, it was so suspended. What the heck? Let's Dude, go, baby. We're setting the iFish pros. Oh, baby. 
We were setting the iFish Pro. Bro, Dude, uh, so we were sitting over there and there was one fish over here that we could see suspended. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just go catch it. Like, oh my. It was just what? sitting there. Let's go. And we pull up and he came right over. He hit it once and came back too. Oh my God. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty ridiculous. We were, uh, I wasn't even actually close. We were over there trying to find some crappies. Same with John and Dustin. They were over here trying to find some crappies. And they said they had a mark like 40 feet out on the live scope. Went over, drilled on top of it. Dustin's actually repping some skates right now. So he's just like hauling across the ice right now, carrying the cage drill. Went right on top of that fish, dropped down. It was suspended, so obviously we're not thinking walleye. Hooked into it, screaming big fish. We're running on over. Turns out they're screaming walleye. Can't even believe my eyes. John didn't even know they were in here. He had thoughts maybe of it, but it's a pretty small lake. And I mean, it was a decent walleye, but that is where I'm gonna end today's video. We are gonna stay out here, but we got a lot of plans to film a lot of videos for you and try to bring you as much content as possible. So we're going to set up some iFish Pros so in the future you can expect to, uh, I don't know, maybe see a walleye video. We've seen some pike on the live scope and we're just gonna be out here grinding all day long. As always guys, make sure to check out John. Hi! From Mindac Outdoors for being just a great host and a guide. And have to definitely check out Smack em Outdoors. Everybody's links will be down below. Definitely make sure to check them out because these are the guys I talk to literally on the daily. And I'm just so excited to be out here. So expect a lot more content. Make sure you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you are super excited like all of us for early ice. I'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits.